Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Ostroumov, I am from National Aviation University and I am a part of air navigation team and uh, today I would like to present you our results in air traffic safety management based on probabilities. As you know, amount of air traffic is increasing continuously uh, unless 2020 when we have a dramatic influence of COVID-19 and during that time we, we roll back to probably uh, two decades uh, back in uh, volume of uh, air transportation. However, uh, for uh, next year I think we reach a pre-pandemic level of uh, air transportation uh, volumes at global um, air traffic uh, system. And uh, the main problem in air traffic is that uh, nowadays air traffic is continuously growing and probably in future we will get situation when uh, we have too many airplanes in airspace and many users need to w wait um, until we have a space for takeoff or landing. Thus, uh, nowadays is uh, highly important uh, searching and developing a new concept uh, for a future air traffic management system. And in our approach uh, we propose to use probabilities values uh, to, uh, to control uh, the air traffic at particular region. Uh, the safety of air transportation is evaluated based on probabilities of unsuccessful operation. Risk values are used uh, for evaluation of safety categories and safety categories are used to estimate the impact of particular factors on controlled aircraft flight. And uh, finally, uh, we propose to use a risk of pre-planned trajectory loss as the main um, uh, probability value uh, which uh, we will use for air traffic management. And uh, also uh, the following safety categories uh, are the mostly used in uh, current air traffic uh, system. Uh, as you know, uh, before the flight, each uh, aircraft uh, pre-planned uh, trajectory. And uh, this pre-planned trajectory uh, is developed based on uh, guarantee the minimum, uh, okay, maximum level of flight safety. And next, if we perform our trajectory and uh, everything is going well, uh, we will follow uh, the pre-planned trajectory. And this pre-planned trajectory is guarantee of safety of aviation. However, during the normal flight, multiple factors may affect aircraft and um, some degradation factors may cause aircraft deviation from pre-planned uh, trajectory and these deviations may affect uh, normal flight of another air traffic. And in this case, we have some dangerous situation which uh, may cause a mid-air collision. That's why in uh, our approach uh, we propose to analyze uh, air traffic in order to estimate probabilities of aircraft deviations from pre-planned trajectories. And then based on these probabilities estimate uh, risks of mid-air collision uh, which we can use for, um, for air traffic management. Uh, according to PBM, uh, we need to consider 
three main components of total system error uh, for airplane deviations from pre-planned trajectory. It is navigation system error, flight technical error and path definition error. Uh, navigation system error uh, is based on accuracy of onboard positioning system. In this case, uh, as primary positioning system, uh, we use global navigation satellite system. In case if we have a lack of accuracy, we need to switch to inertial navigation system, however, only for a short period of time. And then we need to find another ways how we can get our position and then we use uh, pairs of DME, VOR or NDB to get a precise uh, airplane position. Uh, in case of uh, GNSS performance of position we can get quite easy uh, from a receiver of GNSS. In case of positioning by uh, pairs of navigational aids, DME, DME, we can use uh, following formula. For case of VOR, VOR positioning, we can use another formula. And in case of VOR, DME, we can use uh, the third type of formula for navigation system error uh, estimation. Uh, for estimating performance of um, airplane deviations based on statistical values, we need to use probability density function. Uh, the main problem is that uh, due to multiple uh, factors influence, airplane trajectory uh, cannot be a direct line. Uh, that's why uh, we usually use a triple univariate generalized error distribution in the following form, where we have a mix of three types of uh, probability density function. The first one uh, gives us a modeling of navigation system error. The second one gives us modeling of flight technical error. And the third one is modeling of rare event. And uh, risk of airplane deviations out of uh, cleared perils of uh, flight road uh, can be estimated as a uh, area under below probability density functions. And uh, this area we can count by simple integral. That's why uh, if we get probability density function, uh, we can uh, estimate a risk of airplane deviations out of uh, cleared uh, space. In our research, uh, we use automatic dependent surveillance broadcast as a main source of coordinate information of, about air traffic. Then, um, we obtain uh, coordinates of aircraft after the decoding messages of ADSB. Also, we can use uh, multi alteration or radars or another sources. However, ADSB nowadays uh, is the uh, uh, most, uh, most useful one. Uh, then we can collect a statistic of air traffic and then we can use uh, this statistic to estimate probability density function based on a digital uh, flight road database. That's why we estimate deviation of each aircraft from a map of flight roads uh, in the global scale. And then these deviations uh, we uh, mix together to get uh, probability density functions. Uh, then uh, we can use these probability density functions to uh, point at aircraft location. And then we can estimate probabilities of aircraft deviations out of uh, planned, uh, pre planned trajectory. And then these uh, risk values can be used 
for estimating a mid-air collision risk. And then we can visualize it and uh, use it for uh, air traffic management based on these probabilities. In our university we have uh, ADS-B uh, receiver. That's why uh, we receive uh, messages from aircraft and then uh, we store it in the database and we can use any sequence of this data. Uh, also anyone uh, as uh, me at my home can use a simple SDR receiver to get uh, information from aircraft. Thus, um, uh, in our in this research, uh, we represent a data which uh, has been recorded during the twenty seventh of September two thousand twenty. Uh, thus, uh, we analyze uh, all ADSB data for this day for the whole Ukrainian airspace and then get uh, probability density functions for the Ukrainian airspace by daily basis. Uh, then uh, we just uh, catch uh, some particular moment of time under the our ADSB ground stations uh, it, and we get only three airplanes with the following uh, ICAO identification corps and then we hold uh, our probabilities at point where uh, these aircrafts uh, are located. And based on that uh, we've got uh, probability density functions of uh, this aircraft locations and then we switch to probabilities of aircraft deviations from uh, cleared flight level. And then uh, it gives uh, us possibility to count uh, risks of mid-air collision between uh, each pair uh, of, this, uh, of this air traffic. And uh, based on our statistical data, we have the following results. It, it means that uh, the first pair uh, has uh, the biggest uh, value of uh, risk. Thank you for attention. Uh, if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer. My conclusion you can see on this slide. Thank you.